So another thing I wanted to talk about is how you can promote your music for free because not everyone can afford PR campaigns. Not everyone wants to do a PR campaign. Um, in London, we are spoiled. I sometimes think I wish there weren't so many things happening because yeah. I really want to go to this event, but I've got this event. Tonight there's a gig happening, which I would have liked to have gone to I'm doing something else. But there's so many things happening that we are spoiled for opportunities. These four platforms that I've got here, meetup.com, Eventbrite, Facebook and Campus London, that's just four that I plucked out. Campus London is Google Campus. They put on tech-related uh, opportunities for networking and learning and this kind of thing. Facebook, everyone knows about Facebook groups. I specifically chose the group thing because it's like walking in old school forums. Everyone remember internet forums, mm -hmm. right? I miss internet forums. I'm still on Grime Forum, but I miss internet forums in general because they're, they're a bit like Facebook groups. No one uses forums anymore because of the groups. Except on a group, it's got your real name, so you can't be behind an alias. You have to be you, which can help you, but it can also mean that you, you've got to be more careful about what you say because you can't just behind, hide behind it. Meet up in Eventbrite. This is... Um, you can browse events that are happening. You can browse different types of categorized uh, discussion groups, talks, networking, all these kind of things happen on Meetup and Eventbrite. Uh, it's free to join. A lot of the events are free, but even if you have to pay five pound or seven pound, it's generally worth it because you could meet someone, exactly as Shovel was saying, you could meet someone that could literally open up a whole new opportunity of things for you. You never know what could happen, you know? So there's so many different options out there in London that you can promote your music for free across all of these and you can be creative with it. Um, Facebook, and I didn't put, Twi everyone knows about Twitter and stuff, but you can take your music off social media platforms, broadcast them onto Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube even, and meet people at events that happen on Meetup and Eventbrite. On Facebook, I'm sure you'll find tons of events as well. So really, there's opportunity to learn, network, and meet people really. So in terms of promoting your music for free, these are the ways that I've, I've kind of thought up, I've put down here, but there's so many other things that you can use. Generally, social media is a great way of doing it. MailChimp is a good platform to use for free emails. I use one called MailerLite, it's a bit better, I think. But they give you like a set amount of free email contacts that you can send your music to. So if you, if you can collect email addresses of people that might like your music or people that you think, you can swap email lists with other people. So if you know somebody who's got 100, you say, we'll swap, I'll give you 100, you give me 100, now I've got two. Now we've both got 200. You can send your music out as much as you want. I think they give you 2,000 for free per month you can send out. Send out your music. Oh, I'm playing a gig in, in Dawson. Tell people they'll, and they'll come down to it. So this is a good way of marketing for free. In the old days, before the internet, this is this would never have been even possible. A, to reach them, and B, to reach them for free. All of this wouldn't have been possible. Uh, Campus London is probably not the best example, but those three especially... Um, free access to the world to promote your music, right? And who your target market is, like any marketing, Nokia, whatever it is, they understand who they're targeting. Once you understand who you're targeting, you wanna think about what does that target wanna see that keeps me true to myself. I think it's good when, other, when artists post up other artists stuff. So it's nice, I really like this new video from this artist, this rapper, this singer. I like it when artists post up pieces of art, visual art, when they post up news stories, when they post up things that extend their character and their personality and their music onto social media because it's not the best when an artist is spamming their followers with their own music. Not to say don't post it, I say definitely post your music up just don't spam your fa your followers with it. Post up stuff which supports other artists and it shows that you're not selfish. It shows that you've got an understanding of the music industry and you're not just cutting yourself off from it. You're interacting with it. Post up things which make, that you think will make your followers understand you better as an artist.
you know what I mean? It's really important because with music, it's an art form. People want to buy into the artist. They don't only want to listen to the music. They want to understand, I don't know, like if there was a song that came out 20 years ago, or an album that came out 20 years ago, you could say this, this ins- when I was 11, this was my favorite. So I used to listen to it over and over again. The CD broke because I listened to it so much, something like that. And then that gives people an insight into your character, who you were when you were younger, what led you to be the person you are now. That's something which is important. And I think regularity is um, something as well, because there's no right or wrong. Social media, it's, it's a site. It's, there's no rule book on it. I say do it as much as you feel you want to do it. And in your heart of hearts, you're going to know if you're irritating your fan base. If your follower numbers are going down, then, you know, <laughs> maybe change your strategy. Um, but I'd say just be true to yourself and be as you were, as you would be in a room of people. Be be that on social media because then you're being honest. And if people don't like that, then they don't like that. But there will be people that do like it because if you've got enough confidence to say, right, I want to put myself out as an artist of the world, you must be okay. Otherwise, you would have stopped after... If, I don't know. It's, everyone's got their own way of doing things. And I think for me to tell you, only do it three times a day, that's judgmental for me to say that. You know, So I'd say do it as much as you feel your spirit wants, exactly. to, wants you to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay.